Welcome back. You have, may have seen an iPod. You might have an iPhone or a Mac. Well, how about a look at some of those Apple products in a way you've never seen them before? They've become fodder for a visual artist who makes intricate mosaics from iPads, iPhones, MacBooks, and the like. Harris Chavez lives and works in Athens, Greece, and joins us now. Uh, thanks so much for talking with us. You've done some very unusual work. Tell us about it. Uh, thanks a lot, a lot for hosting me, guys. Um, unusual, original, I don't know. It's, uh, you have to, to, it's on you to judge. I'm just doing my hobby and my love for many years, and I was doing that honoring Steve Jobs because he was my hero. So um, I, I guess this is all. That's all. Now, it's not just that you, you've done all these portraits of Steve Jobs, which are remarkable, but some of them are made out of geometric um, symbols. Some of them are made out of Apple products themselves. Uh, why that approach? Okay, um, I, was, I was following this guy for, let's say, probably from the, from the early 90s. So I was a designer, I was, uh, I was in love with complexity, not like him with simplicity, but I was, I was also following his, his vision, and his vision not only for products, but for things that for an artist were really important, like forgiveness of the user, uh, the, the famous undo. Um, um, in the interaction, the, the, the ease of use of a, of a, of a computer. So it, it opened, it gave me, he gave me a real uh, powerful tool uh, that helped me to create my work and to experiment. So this, uh, I was doing what I was loving, that means experimenting on design, and I was honoring him continuously because he was something like a personal hero. Uh, of course, starting. Uh, I'm going to jump in because I, I'm just curious about one thing. Did you ever meet him? Have you had any contact with him? Do you know if you ever saw no, any of these images? Unfortunately, not. Unfortunately, not. Not. I, I was dreaming of, uh, of coming to Mark World. I'm far away. Actually, I, I was, I was working for a, for a company in Silicon Valley once. I, I came close, but no. Two years ago, I sent him a, a message, uh, asking him if he likes my work. You know, I was. I was so terrified of sending any email to him because I, I was afraid of a possible I don't like him or what I'll do. So I sent an email, but I never got a reply. And How about the rest of us? Where can people see your work? Send you an email or, or just have a look at, at these pictures? I think, I don't know, it, it was it was just a gesture. I, I thought about it and I, I decided to send him a message. I have used all his email addresses. I could find him. Forgive me, I'm going to jump in. Where can people send you a message, though, or see these pictures if they want to? Um, they, they are actually. I'm getting a lot of messages for, for all kinds of people from media, like, uh, like uh, Fortune, or from uh, ordinary people who want to to have it on the wall. If I understood your question. Yeah, I think so. I think they can see it um, at what Chevis.com. Is that the name of the website? Yes, exactly. Okay. Chevis.com. Harris Chevis, thanks so much for talking with us. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. A very different story we're watching closely.